Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? If I can accomplish these things from this start, now that I'm at this place, knowing what I know now, what can I count? And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about more than just what you're going to do financially, more than what you're going to do in this industry in the next three years, right? More than that, what's your appetite? What are you, what are you going to do that will in, in ensure that when the alarm clock goes off, that you're already up 10, 20 minutes before your alarm clock goes off? Why? You got to grind, grind, grind. You got to go through setbacks and disappointments. You got to go through it. I'm talking about grit. I'm talking about endurance. Just having more stamina than they got. In order to get to the next level, you got to sacrifice. You got to take risks. You got to be willing to do by faith whatever you're asked to do. Mr. Truman, there are no shortcuts to success. There are no discounts to success. It's always sweat. It's always blood. It's always tears. You always have to give all to be the best. All you got to do is start changing the way you think. It's as simple as, it's not a magic trick. You can protect yourself from negativity. And that's what stops most people, negative thoughts. You can coat your mind from negativity. It's a real simple exercise to do. I do it every morning before I walk out the door. So I walk out as a positive person. You know, I get tired sometimes. That's different from being negative because I get mentally drained from my job at times. But to coach your mind from negativity, the way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude. Gratitude erases negativity. I'm gonna show you how this works. If you wake up in the morning and you start having negative thoughts, man, this ain't my day. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm tripping, I just don't feel myself. Every time you feel, in the middle of the day, if you feel yourself doing that, stop, just stop for a second. And start going over in your mind everything you have to be grateful for. Not everything you want, everything you already have. Because what you have is substantial. You just haven't gone over the list and taken inventory in a long time. But the fact that you can walk, that's a blessing. The fact that you woke up, that's another blessing. The fact that you can see, think, reason, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go somewhere and get yourself something to eat, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go and turn the key and call someplace home, that's another blessing. The ability to dream is a blessing. The, the, the fact that you have an opportunity to get it right is another blessing. The fact that you're beautiful, that's another blessing. The fact that you have any measure of health, that's another blessing. And I'm just talking to you, and I don't even know you. I could give you 50 things you ought to be grateful for right now. I don't even know you. Start coating your mind with gratitude. It'll change everything for you. Stress is God's way of training you. Is preparation but what most people do is see once you get stressed you don't want that no more so now you give up you through nobody likes stress because some people just let they self go but you got to in order to develop and to change and to grow stress is necessary so you got to be willing to go get it every day there's a story my father told me all the time now I've heard it several different ways he says son he said, every morning on the plains of the eastern Serengeti Desert, there arises a gazelle that realizes that he was run faster than the fastest lion, or he will be eaten and he will die that day. On that same desert arises in the morning a lion that realizes that he must run faster than the fastest gazelle, or he will starve and he will die that day. He say, son, the moral of the story is, no matter who you is, when you wake up in the morning, you needs to be running. See, I'm a seed, I really am. I, see, but a seed has to be planted. A seed got to have dirt put on top of it. If you take a seed and throw it on the concrete and walk off, the sun just burn it up. But guess what? Logically, 
in my mind, it doesn't make sense that to grow something, you should dig a hole, put it down in there, and cover it with dirt. Logically, that don't make no sense to me. But hold up. See, dirt is necessary for growth and development. Dirt builds character. Dirt, dirt gives you the push-through factor. Dirt makes you come with it when you don't feel like coming with it no more. And you get dirt in a lot of different ways. All of y'all that had dirt thrown on you. And dirt ain't always what you want. It's somebody talking about you down on your job. It's somebody accusing you of something that you didn't do. It's somebody telling you you ain't going to make it. It's somebody sharing information about you that ain't true. That everybody get dirt put on. But see, when you're getting put under that stress, please know God is always with you. God is always working, so I smile. Because I know he back there. See, that dirt builds character in you. When they talking about you, it teaches you to withstand it. Then it gives you something to push through. So when you put the seed and you put the dirt on it, if you understand stress, stress really ain't just dirt. See, they don't call it dirt when they plant it. They call it soil. Because, see, soil has nutrients in it. What the nutrients, when people are talking about you, dogging you, lying on you, back by, stealing from you, talking about you, they're actually putting nutrients in you. Everything you see above ground that blossoms and plants and grows and that's beautiful, it was underground one time. All them potatoes, collard greens, they was underground one time. Them apple trees, they was underground one time. So they had to prove themselves. See, you want to be successful, well then you got to prove yourself. You got to push through the dirt. You got to come up through here. You got to come out, then you sprout, and then Bishop say, then you become a tree, next thing you know you got fruit. So when you under stress, take the stress for what it is. Don't get fooled. Don't just think, oh, look, man, Lord must not mean for it to be. What you tripping for? What you talking about? How you think you're going to be a plant, a tree, a flower, a bush, and ain't no stress? How you going to get to be that without no dirt? I expect people to talk about me. Matter of fact, I look forward to it now. Do your thing, because if I can weather what happened to me and my family earlier, you can bring whatever you got now. There's some more stuff going around now that's about to happen. Bring it. Because now I have developed a character that is stress. I have soil, enough dirt on me that has provided me with nutrients.